Welcome to Center Court with the Lopes, presented by Talking Stick Resort. Barry Butel alongside the head coach for GCU men's basketball, Bryce Drew. And coach, things are going pretty well, 8-1 and one on the season. How do you feel uh, as head coach of the squad? Well, you know, we have a lot of new players, and so we're, we're, we're still uh, in the process of figuring things out, but it's nice to be able to win some games. We're thankful for that while we're figuring out rotations and who really plays well and fits together. What have you really liked about uh, these nine games so far in non-conference play from your team? You know, we've seen a lot of different players step up. You know, I think um, our backcourt has led the way. I think uh, Javon Blackshear, Holland Woods, uh, the second, have just been fantastic together. Um, they feed off each other and play very well together. And then we've had other pieces step in, you know, certain games, whether, you know, Sean Miller Moore, we, you know, have, have a really good game. Um, again, Dima Zador, Gabe McLaughlin's been fantastic early in the season. And so it's been kind of fun as a coach to see which guys have risen to the occasion in certain games. First road trip, you kind of wonder how the team's going to handle the road trip, the, the plane ride, the hotel, the meeting rooms. You go into Pepperdine, a big three-point win there, and then a couple of nights later, you're over at Loyola Marymount. Physical matchup, big second half, and you pull out a second straight victory. How, what, what was your thoughts after two straight wins in Southern Cal? You, you know, as, as, a, as a coach with a lot of new players, you don't know how you're going to respond, especially on the road. Um, you know, when you're down and have to play from behind, we were down 11 in that first half against Lola Marymount. And so uh, it, was, it was really good coming out of that weekend to, to see that we, we kind of got battle tested a little bit. You know, we had to overcome adversity. We had to overcome um, a deficit. We had to really fight back. And the guys showed a lot of resiliency um, and togetherness. And so coming back home, you know, it makes you feel good as a coach when the team can really pull together um, on the road and, and especially be able to win some games. Big, big spark in that second half from Tayshawn Cherry. Six steals in the game, and he certainly responded and kind of gave your, your team a boost. You know, most people think of Tayshawn for his offense, uh, but defensively, he's been fantastic uh, this last week. He had six steals um, in, in, in that game, and he had three steals in another game. Um, scored double figures, really rebound the basketball well. But, you know, the best thing he does is he brings energy. He brings energy to our team and, and to our crowd. You know, our, our crowd, I think, really uh, uh, feeds off the energy with Tayshawn, and Tayshawn definitely feeds off uh, the energy that they bring every night. The team has shown a tenacity for offensive rebounds and for second chance points. Was that a focus for you and your staff with this team going into the season? You know, definitely looking at the makeup of our roster, we have a lot of players that, that uh, are aggressive and, uh, and they're quick to the ball. And so it has to be one of our strengths. You know, the, the couple of games we've really struggled and, um, and it's hurt us. And so that has to be kind of a, a, of a staple and a foundation of our program is we have to be able to rebound the basketball. And, you know, we'll continue to really get tested, you know, throughout the year and especially this next week, you know, with our rebounding. You already mentioned that solid backcourt of Holland Woods and Javon Blackshear Jr. How, how have they kind of melded together? And, and you know, Holland's had a couple of games where he hasn't scored in the first half, where he lit it up in the second half. Kind of, is he a pass first kind of guy? Is, are they still kind of getting a rhythm in that backcourt? You know, we've only got to coach Holland, you know, eight games because uh, the one game he missed. And, and so we're still, you know, feeling him out. And again, for him, this is, you know, a new team for him. He's figuring out. So I think at times he feels really comfortable. You know, maybe a defense will come with a different scheme and in the context of our offense, it might take him a little time to adjust uh, to figure out where those shots come from, where Javon has seen different schemes, you know, for over a year in this system. So he already kind of knows where his spots are on the court, um, how certain teams went when they defend us. But uh, what I've really enjoyed again about them is just the camaraderie they have uh, together. And I think in the recruiting process, it was very important for us when uh, we were recruiting another guard with Javon. Uh, to get input from Javon, and um, once we brought up Holland's name to Javon, it was it was instant. Like, hey, like, 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 we're like, yes, like this would be great if we were together. And and you've really seen that from you know game one. Um, those two really just uh, feed off each other well. Well, you got a big matchup uh, later in the week uh, here against Arizona State over in Tempe. You've got two former Sun Devils in Holland Woods and Tayshawn Cherry. How do you keep them focused and how do you keep your team focused knowing uh, that they want a little bit of revenge after a tough one-point loss a season ago? Anytime you go, go somewhere that you have memories, you know, you're going to be reminiscent at times and that's just human nature. You know, whether we go back to our hometowns or, you know, whatever it may be, you, you have those feelings that come up, whether good, bad, but, but you're going to have feelings and emotions. And so that's very normal. You know, um, we'll just hopefully, you know, hopefully they can and we can help them with the best we can when the game starts to really lock in and just focus on the game and, and playing the game and, and then, you know, try to take all the, the exterior stuff out. But um, we're all humans and, um, you know, they spend a lot of time there, have a lot of good memories. And so, you know, it's only human nature to have some, some reminiscing when you get there. 
With ASU, five of the next seven games are, are on the road. You've got a tough, tough matchup downtown at the Footprint Center later this month against San Francisco, a team that is now currently 9-0 and on the season, really their best start, and also uh, up in Reno against Nevada. How do you uh, think about the upcoming schedule on the road? You know, really tough uh, stretch here, you know, starting this week. And then, you know, Ottawa is a local school that's already beat a Division I school. Um, and then San Francisco is probably playing, you know, behind uh, Gonzaga, maybe the best basketball in the West Coast Conference right now. So, um, you know, they'll present a lot of challenges. And then obviously Nevada, Steve Alford will always do a good job and his team will always be ready. So uh, very, very good stretch for us. And, you know, coming out of the stretch, you know, we'll get into league play. And I think it'll be a great uh, opportunity for us as coaches to, to see kind of where we stand and what we really need to work on, you know, before we get to league. Coming up, what is it like to live on campus at GCU? Gabe McLaughlin opens his dorm to the cameras. It's time to get away. It's time to escape. It's a new day to play. Your retreat awaits at Talking Stick Resort. Indulge your appetite for excitement with our thrilling table games, our electrifying slots, our outstanding restaurants, and our exceptional accommodations. It's all waiting for you. It's a new day to play at Talking Stick Resort. Play in style. I'm personal injury attorney James Bergener. Accidents can happen. If something happens to you or your family, call me. My firm and I will take you by the hand and guide you through everything. You see, personal injuries are just that. They're personal. You're not a number. You're more than just a name. This is your life. At my firm, each case is professionally and personally tailored to you. So if you've been injured, I've got your back. Call me now for a free consultation. Determination. That's why you picked me and that's why I picked you. Because I believe in you. And grit conquers fatigue. You want to play fast? This is how we're going to play fast. Where the energy sets the tone and the effort drives the spirit. Good defenders cut down points. Great defenders cut down nets. Join the family. Grand Canyon University Women's Hoops. Get your season tickets. GCULopes.com. Center Court with the Lopes is presented by Talking Stick Resort, play in style, and also brought to you by Cox Business. Welcome back to Center Court with the Lopes alongside head coach Bryce Drew. And coach, one player uh, on your team that's provided a big spark is Gabe McLaughlin. Uh, he has provided uh, range from long distance. He showed some leadership on the court as well. And he's also uh, kind of tenacious under the boards. And you know, not only is Gabe a crowd favorite, but he's a campus favorite. You know, so many people are just attracted to Gabe and his uh, personality. Um, but, but, you know, coming back this year, he's in a different role. You know, last year he was a supporting big. Now he's, you know, a lead big. And so he's playing in, in you know, in stretch and crunch time. He has the ball in his hands a lot more. And, you know, first game, I think he was a little jittery. Um, ever since then, he's just been really, really good and hit a big shot down the stretch against Pepperdine. Three big threes in a row, you know, this last week against uh, UTSA. And so he's really just really stepped his game up and, and rose into the occasion. Well, Coach, you mentioned he's so popular around campus. No doubt, perhaps, because he might have one of the best dorms on the entire campus. Gabe McLaughlin gives us a tour. Don't need no caption, no, we live in lavish. Drip, drip, drop, I know you see What's up, I'm fashion. Cowboy, Cowboy Gay. So you're around the ranch. Always got to keep the fridge stocked. Got the lovely necessities in here. You know, we be chefing it up in here. We be chefing it up. Got all our other pans and pots over there. Ray's not here right now. He's always in his room, either sleeping. We'll show you his door since we can't show you his room too much. This is where the Cowboys like, like to hang out and regroup in the evening. This is where all the, the craziness happens. The ranch mascot. It's actually funny. Uh, because uh, Rafe is scared to death of baby baby Yoda. I'm out of the bathroom, boom, you know, just feel your nice soft feet all in this beautiful rug. And now let me take you to the room. This is where, you know, we find our zen area, peaceful, got the plants. Please leave a message after the engineering student. Gotta have the tools to supply. So if you ever need a hookup, I'm your boy. This thing comes out a lot, the Bible. Got to keep that on lock. This is sentimental stuff people gave me as we worked little kids camp. Notes I got from family members, friends. Kind of just like plants because it, it gives you a little bit of responsibility. Told myself this year I wanted to be more consistent. So that's why that board's like that and that's Japanese letters because I'm a big fan 
of just the Japanese, Chinese culture, Asian culture. Cut this one up off of a little bit of a dying one and then put it in a popcorn bowl and it's just been growing ever since and it's doing well. You know, we gotta stay comfy. Kind of the whole theme of this room. You know, after a hard day of practice or a hard day of school, you can just come back and, you know, relax. You know, unload and just be in your own place. So that's kind of where I, I found my heart and like, you know, wanting to kind of redo my room, do it like this and, and make it feel real homey. Got the good showcase of board games. This is actually one of my favorites and the room loves it. It's called Time Bomb. Coming back, see if they're coming back. Yo, Ray, this is Cowboy Isaiah, by the way. Let's go, let's go. Yes, sir. I need my teammate Rafe out here. Quick dubs and then we leave. You also have class? Bye, Rafe! Keep sleeping, Rafe! Hey, be safe. Just remember what we taught you. I'll Stay strong. I get to class, don't worry. Um, Use the pepper spray. Babe, if you're watching this, I love you. You know, that's all I got to show for you. So now I'm heading to class. Uh, you've seen the ranch. You haven't seen Rafe, but I will see you later. All right. Lopes up. You never could imagine. Coming up, it hit triple digits in the winter in Arizona as Molly Miller's squad recently broke the 100-point mark. We catch up with the head coach next. When life seems uncertain, there's one credit union that provides both dollars and cents. Copper State Credit Union. With solutions that focus on our members, you can take advantage of competitive rates, free cash back checking, and local attentive service. Uplifting our community is a standard we live by. That's why thousands of your Arizona neighbors rely on us. Strengthening Arizona families through financial empowerment. That's Copper State Credit Union. As a kid, I always dreamed of being a Division I athlete. GCU supported that dream, and they also allowed me to get an education. So when I came to GCU, I was able to transfer enough credits in to fast track my education. So I graduated in three years with a master's and I did it debt free because I had athletic and academic scholarships. I'm Mackenzie and I earned my MBA from Grand Canyon University. There's a thunder in all of us. Come find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. It's time to get away. It's time to escape. It's a new day to play. Your retreat awaits at Talking Stick Resort. Indulge your appetite for excitement with our thrilling table games, our electrifying slots, our outstanding restaurants, and our exceptional accommodations. It's all waiting for you. It's a new day to play at Talking Stick Resort. Play in style. because the curly hair. And this one has to be Amber because Amber always plays with like her little two strand. Nadia, I think. This is TC, Taylor Collier. Oh. We ain't gonna talk about <laughs> that. I'm gonna say this one's Amber. Maybe it's me. I don't know, the hair. That's what's getting me. Maybe it's me. Is this TC? This is me? <laughs> oh, that's funny. TC, that's a good one. It definitely, yeah. It's Taylor. About this photo, I like the. They actually did really a good job now that I think it's TC because of like of her eyebrows and she only like smiles. She never like shows her teeth. Yes, this is this is good because she has the two. This, I think TC wear her hair like that sometimes. What does she do when she has twists? When she has twists. I, I see it, I see it. Welcome back to Center Court with the Lopes presented by Talking Stick Resort. Barry Butel now joined by the head coach for GCU women's basketball, Molly Miller and coach, you're off to a five and two start. Some impressive victories over Western New Mexico, Nickel State, Houston Baptist, but as a head coach at five and two, what, what are your thoughts? Um, you know, I think we could um, have won every game that we've played. So there's definitely some room for improvement. I think we have to hone in on what we're really good at and maybe master that. Um, we're doing a really good job defensively, but our offense needs to catch up. And I think playing to our kids' strength is going to be a big focus for ours the next few weeks as we go into 
um, this last bit of non-conference play. Well, you threw it out there, focus in on what you're really good at. What is, what is the team really good at? Well, defensively, we're really good. So um, we have come out and we've shown spurts of, wow, no one can hang with us. But that consistency really hasn't been there yet. So we're looking to have 40 minutes of complete chaos on the defensive end, which you see sparks of it. Um, we can put some runs together offensively based off our defense. But if that consistently gets better, then we're just going to be a better basketball team all around. Now, you've already headed out on the road a couple of times, KC and, and Southern California. You're heading up to I-17 to take on NAU later in the week. How important was it for the team to get out on the road for team chemistry, team building, that sort of thing? Yeah, it's great just to you know do a different routine, and um, I think we've we've been to some places where there's some families, so we've had a, a decent number of crowd in the in the stands. What we have to do better of is just being able to weather the storm on the road. Um, I think officiating is a big deal when we go on the road. We got to figure out how officials are calling the game. Um, we get some cheap fouls here or there, and we've got to understand and adjust based on that. Maybe you don't get the home call as much as you would, or maybe there's not as familiarity with the style of basketball. So that's going to be an adjustment for us and one that is a, a quick fix for us to be more successful on the road. That is interesting when you say that not a familiarity with the style of basketball because it is in your face, it's relentless. It could be an aggressive style that if a uh, ref has a as a whistle, he, he or she might be quick to uh, blow it. Yeah, we've learned that. I mean, when we when we get up and get after it um, and people know our style, it just, well, that's who they are, the brand. But then all of a sudden, you don't see a lot of pressing teams. And then all of a sudden, here we are pressing and we're getting after it and we're rotating and we're trapping and being super aggressive. Um, that can be called differently, as, even in different areas of the country. So it's just on us to kind of make that adjustment. And we need to understand where um, our strength is and maybe how to play up those strengths, but also where we need to adjust based on um, how aggressive we can be in certain scenarios. Does your team kind of adapt a little bit differently too? Because at home, I mean, the offensive numbers are pretty, the discrepancy is pretty large to almost 85 points a game to those two losses being 57 and a half points per game. Does the team kind of play a little bit differently on the road too? Yeah, I think we started out phenomenal at Cal State Fullerton and that was great energy like I love to see that but then again we kind of got taken out of the rhythm with some foul trouble um, and some calls that didn't go our way so we have to adjust that's part of the game we know that but I think if we do that a little bit better um, and our defense has always spurred our offense so when we're able to play our aggressive style we're going to score a lot more points so we just have to figure out in the short term you know, how do we still continue to get those turnovers, but keeping it maybe a cleaner game? But the numbers are really strong. I mean, 18 steals a game, creating a whopping 28 turnovers a game. Are you happy with how team defense is looking right now? Or obviously, you, as a coach, you probably always want it to improve, right? You do. You know, we're still working in. We, we only have two returning starters in the lineup, so we're still working in some new bodies with um, a fresh perspective on what the defense is supposed to look like. So I don't think we're definitely at our peak yet, which is a good thing right now. You don't, we want to continue to grow, but there's areas that I believe that, you know, we got to buy into growing in those areas and commit to what we're trying to do. Um, you know, one of those is, is kind of fighting the touch. We make it really, really hard for offenses to initiate. And so if one person is not doing that, then it doesn't really help us. You know, the other four are just getting tired working their tail off. So if we can get five people to be on the same page, when that starts to click, we'll, we'll really get going. You're, it's the, uh, the score sheet is uh, at the top. It's, it's the transfers. It's, it's Jay. It's Amara. It's, it's, uh, it's Dom. Can you talk a little bit about the, those three and how they're leading the way and, and maybe where you'd like to see them kind of step up a little bit even more? Yeah, well, we brought them in here because we know we needed some offensive firepower. So they are giving us that, which is a good thing. We needed to replace some scoring. But, you know, defensively, I think they're still figuring out the system a little bit. And we're just challenging them every day to, you know, what, what we've done in the past and what we're doing works. And again, we need all five people on the same page. We're a little, um, we're on the same page, but we might be turning it a little late. Or <laughs> it's just one, one thing where we have to kind of focus in on um, the team chemistry, but all buying into that same defensive intensity concept together. And, you know, our, our subs, I think our, our freshmen are giving us big sparks off the bench too. So they're picking it up too. And they've gotten better from August. So that's nice to see the growth. Up next, November is in the books, so it's time to take a look at TCU's top plays of the month. 
Grand Canyon University basketball is on the rise. The reigning WAC champs danced for the first time in GCU's history. Bryce Drew and the Lopes look to build as a mid-major powerhouse and take the Havoc's biggest party in college basketball to the national stage once again. Be a part of the passion, the noise, the excitement. Get your season tickets today at gculopes.com. When the going got tough, many people bunkered down. Dealerships turned to mundane sales online with impersonal deliveries, not Sanderson Ford. We chose to work even harder and provide more personalized service and value in our showroom. Or you can shop from home, buy from home, and we'll deliver. We've been delivering vehicles to our customers for over 65 years. Call Luis Gonzalez. Hey David, I'm just pulling in with your new truck. Wow, I'm blown away. Thanks for the personalized service. It's time to get away. It's time to escape. It's a new day to play. Your retreat awaits at Talking Stick Resort. Indulge your appetite for excitement with our thrilling table games, our electrifying slots, our outstanding restaurants, and our exceptional accommodations. It's all waiting for you. It's a new day to play at Talking Stick Resort. Play in style. We take a look at the upcoming schedule brought to you by Cox Business. Thursday night, the Lopes take their game to Tempe for a much-anticipated rematch against the Sun Devils. Then on Saturday, they host Ottawa back at GCU Arena. On the 18th, they make their yearly trip downtown to the Footprint Center for the Colangelo Classic against San Francisco. On the women's side, the Lopes head up north for an in-state matchup against the Lumberjacks of NAU. Then they head off to the South Padre Island Classic in Texas. They'll take on Liberty on the 17th and UTSA on the 18th. They host their final home game of 2021 on December 23rd against UC Irvine. It'll be a fun-filled December, but before we move any further along, we take a look back at the top plays of November. Grab Holland, no call. Here's Jackson. She's going to fire another three. Not a Jackson boy. cannot miss. Five on four for the moment. Phillips for three. The Lopes have to get their leading score from a year ago on track. Here's Phillips driving with the left hand, putting it up and in. Throws it up. Sean Miller. Oh! Box chance to cross it up, it is rebounded in. Coming up, he's established himself as a leader in the backcourt. We sit down with fifth year senior Holland Woods. When life seems uncertain, there's one credit union that provides both dollars and cents. Copper State Credit Union. With solutions that focus on our members, you can take advantage of competitive rates, free cash back checking, and local attentive service. Uplifting our community is a standard we live by. That's why thousands of your Arizona neighbors rely on us. Strengthening Arizona families through financial empowerment. That's Copper State Credit Union. It's time to get away. It's time to escape. It's a new day to play. Your retreat awaits at Talking Stick Resort. Indulge your appetite for excitement with our thrilling table games, our electrifying slots, our outstanding restaurants, and our exceptional accommodations. It's all waiting for you. It's a new day to play at Talking Stick Resort. Play in style. As a kid, I always dreamed of being a Division I athlete. GCU supported that dream, and they also allowed me to get an education. So when I came to GCU, I was able to transfer enough credits in to fast track my education. So I graduated in three years with a master's, and I did it debt-free because I had athletic and academic scholarships. 
I'm Mackenzie, and I earned my MBA from Grand Canyon University. There's a thunder in all of us. Come find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. It's time to get away. It's time to escape. It's a new day to play. Your retreat awaits at Talking Stick Resort. Indulge your appetite for excitement with our thrilling table games, our electrifying slots, our outstanding restaurants, and our exceptional accommodations. It's all waiting for you. It's a new day to play at Talking Stick Resort. Play in style. It's time for the Talking Stick Resort Play of the Week. Play in style. Lost the handle. Moore pulls it up. Sean Miller. Oh! Oh my! The roof might cave in! With a background already established in Arizona as a standout guard at Apollo High School, Holland Woods made a name for himself at Portland State before transferring back home to ASU. Back in April, he made the jump across town to join Bryce Drew's squad in Phoenix. Now, as a fifth-year senior, Woods has earned his position in the rotation and has become one of the most reliable scorers. As we end the show, we recently sat down with him about his journey to Grand Canyon University. Playing for Coach Drew, it's uh, a lot of things that we do. They're my strength, so I just think I'm, I'm back to being a guy that can create offensively and be a menace on defense and pick guys up and change the pace a little bit. Guys rely on me to, to make them better, and I think I can do that. Nice, nice, nice! Just playing in front of the Havoc, they bring the energy. They're the best student section in the entire country so for someone that went to high school right down the street being around this environment and just seeing it grow from basically the ground up is being able to play in front of a crowd like that with your friends and classmates and family it's actually being a part of it now it, it's somewhat surreal I played with some pretty good guards in the past before, but playing with Javon and just growing up with one another, having that bond, playing with someone else you can trust that you know plays the right way and can make plays at a really high level, it helps more than anything. I think one thing for us, like with me and, and Sean, being older guys and seniors that have been in different places and different situations, we've been able to lead really well. And we just, we expect nothing but the best from everyone. So we just hold everyone to a really high standard and just make sure everyone's performing at their best level and giving their best energy and effort at all times. That realness, don't feel this, but I've been sick, that illness. I've been fresh like Will Smith since 94, man, I built this. Stressed out, ex out, missed calls from my ex now, but I'm staying focused in the lab, baby. I don't need to cause your text now. God say the boy bless now. Uh. It's exciting. There's a, a certain amount of pressure that guys feel, but for me, I mean, I'm just going to bring the same energy and effort and, and passion that those guys brought last year, and at the end, I just want to hang a banner just like they did.